It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys now What's up you guys? My name is Kyle Scott. I'm coming to you with another expert tutorial. This is It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas, the Michael Bublé version. You know he's going to throw in some diminished sevenths and major ninths into these mixes, so that's what we're about to do. If you're a beginner here, stick with us. Give it a shot. Sometimes for beginners I say find a song that's really hard and just spend a month learning it and you'll find you'll grow a lot. So I'm gonna do finger picking here. If you have trouble finger picking, check out the video that I'm gonna link right here to a video I made on how to finger pick properly. It's important to get the technique right in order to do this. Okay, so we're in the key of E. The intro has like all these strings and stuff. I'll show you the chords that they play underneath there. They've got an F sharp minor for two measures. Whatever then. Then they have an E major seven for two measures. Okay, that's just an E chord, but we need to get this note to be here. So you can either do, you can rearrange your fingers and do that. So now you have both of these on the first fret, or you can keep your E and sort of do it like half bar like this and have. You only want to bar those two strings, so you really got to angle your finger to make that work possible because you can hear me doing right now it takes a little practice though next step it goes to a G and then an A over C sharp and then they've got a B with a flat ninth okay that looks like this and that's the last chord of that intro it's like a B major chord if you know that bar here putting your like kind of an A shape here on the fourth fret but we got to rearrange some fingers and do our ring finger down here and put our pinky here and we only really need these four strings and you're like Ugh. well when it resolves it sounds very nice listen and then it goes to mana that no to this no that's another way to play an e um, but we just stick with the easy one so that's your into F sharp minor for two measures, E major seven for two measures, G for two measures, then an A over C sharp, and a B with a flat ninth, and then it drops and he goes, it's beginning to, and he launches in on that E chord. So you have an E chord to start, nice and simple. Then we have an A over a B chord. I mean, sorry, an A chord over a B note. So what that is, is just keeping your middle finger here Hold that note, take these two fingers down to the G and B strings on that same fret, and you have just these strings. Just those three. A string, D, a G string, and B string. So it's beginning to look a lot. Then back to E major seven. So now I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna bar these two with that guy at an angle. Christmas. Then back to A over B. Fun, right? Then an E. And then we have a quick A diminished to a G sharp major chord. Where I'm gonna jump up here and do it here. There's a few ways to do this. I'm gonna go everywhere you. Okay, that one's a little tricky. I'll show you these two. A diminished. Here's one, kind of like a bar chord A. All right, you know your bar chord shape. Hopefully, your basic bar chord. Just take down round it out this is only a four string chord just these four doesn't work otherwise and you just take this note over one with your middle and that note goes with it and you have that shape so it's fifth fret e string sixth fret seventh fret and back to fifth just these four strings and it's quick a diminished g sharp major everywhere you there's also this shape and then this shape. So this is thumb here, A, skipping these two strings, playing middle finger on the G, fifth fret, 
index one string back on the B fourth fret and uh, ring finger on the E string fifth fret. Everywhere. That's the A diminished as well. So you could do it here or you could play either way. Everywhere you go. Then we have an A over C sharp, which is quite a bit easier. Just slide your ring finger down to here, fourth fret, and bar the two th the uh, next three strings on the second fret. Four strings here. You go. Then we have a C sharp seven chord. I like to do it here. It's like a B bar chord, but up two frets and doing just that. Okay, let's do that first line. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Then we jump to an F sharp minor seven, which is bar here, just a ring finger there. You can do it like that, you can do it up here. If you know other ways to play this, go for it. But I'll do it here. Take a look at the five and ten. Then we're gonna do a B ten chord. It's got that ten in there, right there. So it's just like a B seven. Put our pinkies down here. So it's barred, ring finger on the D string third fret, bar bar, and pinky down here. You could also do it way up here. Kind of a different voicing, sounds nice. Okay. And then you've got an E major 7 with an added 13th. Which here is an E, a cool way to play an E chord, by the way. It's like a power chord, but you can do open strings in it. So you've got seven, uh, open E, 7th fret, 9th, 9th, open, open. But to make it E major 7, we take the pinky off and put the middle here. To make it major 7 with the added 13th, we put our pinky down here on the 9th fret at the very bottom string. So take a look at the 5 and 10. Shoot up. It's glistening once again. Quick E, then a quick F diminished. So to go from E, you just slide your index up, and you do uh, so index on set on eight, ring on nine, and pinky on nine as well down. So you're just playing these three strings, not playing this. It will sound terrible. Just these three. That's where finger picking is huge. You can you can pick and choose which strings you want to do. And then you've got a B over F sharp with candy canes. So I do this with my thumb, but you could just do a normal bar card, bar chord with candy canes. Then hitting the B with candy canes. Then jumping down to C sharp minor seven and silver lanes. So barring four, ring on D string six, bar. Fifth and bar. You could also do that chord here, but we'll do it here. And silver lanes that glow. Back to our B7 from earlier. I think we already played that. And then it all sort of repeats, but a little bit different. It's beginning to just an A2 here. La like Christmas. E major seven. A over B. E. To G sharp major. This time we don't do the. We just do a normal, straight to G sharp major. In every store, A over C sharp, C sharp seven, but the prettiest side, F sharp minor. Then we do a G with a flat fifth. We're gonna do this note, this note, and this note. Thumb on third fret, skip these two strings, ring on fourth fret, G string, index on second fret, B string. Just those three. So you've got, but the prettiest sight to see. Then an E over G sharp, which is fourth fret, skip this string, second, fourth, open, open if you want. You can do them all, you don't have to. Uh, is a holly that back up to C sharp seven will be back down to F sharp minor seven on your own. Then a B10, we'll do this one this time. Front door. You could also just do a normal E here. Then it repeats that for verse two later. Let's hit the bridge, which is a pair of hop along boots and a pistol that shoots as a wish a bunny and men. 
we're going to do our G sharp major chord. We got a G sharp 7 here. You can do it here, but I'm actually going to do it here. Because it'll make sense in a sec, but it's pinky on 4th fret E string, then skipping this string and playing these three. Hop along boots. Then moving down to the F sharp with that same chord. A pair of hop along boots and a pistol of shoes. Quick C sharp minor is the wish of Bonnie and Ben. C sharp minor, G sharp 7, C sharp minor. Then we've got B suspended over F sharp, so we're going to do. So we've got a B major chord, barring here, putting A chord here. But we're going to slide our pinky over and get our F sharp in there. Dolls that will talk. Then an F sharp 7, go for a walk. Quick B, F sharp 7, and B. And then you've got B chord, Mom and Dad can hardly wait. A little bass walk up there. Bum, bum, bum. Here's a B over D sharp. Ring finger on 6, barring those 3. Can hardly wait. Then you have A, and I'm just doing these 3 strings. It'll make sense in a second, because we're going to go school. Then we're going to slide it up and put our index here to start. And one more, again. And the song ends with, sure it's Christmas, F sharp minor 7, B10, once. And then an E with an added 13th, which is, I'll do here. It's an E chord with pinky on the 2nd fret B string. Getting that C sharp in there. Okay, let's do a full playthrough of this song, and hopefully you've kept up so far. Beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the fountain It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. We'll skip ahead to the ending because that verse is exactly like the other. The instrumental plays the whole thing in the key of C, so it's quite a difference. I'm not going to teach you how to do that. You can take all, transpose all these chords up to C if you want or down to C, but I'm just going to pretend the instrumental never happened like it never existed. Here's the ending. Sure, it's Christmas. B7, one more E6. Or E add 13. That was very fun. I love this song, and uh, the chords are very beautiful. If you want to learn more from me, check out what I've got, my other videos, sometimes links in the description to free stuff. Thank you so much, you guys, for checking this out, and I will see you on the next video.